In two of my previous videos, I told you all about the different public transport means in the Paris region and the best pricing solutions for visitors to Paris, T plus ticket, Navigo Easy and Navigo Découverte cards. Today I will show you how to use your smartphone as the easiest and cheapest way to pay for public transport in Paris. Ile de France Mobilité is the brand name of the Syndicat des Transports d'Ile de France, the organization authority that controls and coordinates the different transport companies operating in the whole Paris and Ile de France region. Ile de France Mobilité is also the name of an app that is available on most Android smartphones. With this very useful app, you can find the place you want to go to on a map. Then search for the best transport solutions to go there and the best route. You can also receive all the necessary information on network disruptions and current interruptions. But the main feature for me is the ability to purchase so easily your ticket or your pass, and then use your smartphone as the tool to validate your right to travel. This application will not work on iOS until the end of 2023. Also, you need to be able to store titles securely, which requires either a Samsung Galaxy phone or a phone running Android 8.0 or higher, excluding Google Pixel 4 and below, and Google Nexus. You have to make sure that NFC is enabled on your smartphone. For this, go on the settings of your smartphone, search for NFC, and then make sure that you can use NFC. Now, let's install the Ile de France Mobilité app from the Play Store. Search for Ile de France Mobilité, as it's currently written on the screen. And then click on Install. And wait for the app to be installed. Then you can click on Open, allow the notifications, and approve the privacy policy. A few interesting information pages on which I will go fast for this video. Now you have to allow the app to access your location. Okay, let's click on the purchase button. You have to allow call management by the app for it to test the compatibility of your phone. Yes, this is what I want to do. You can also use the app to upload your Navigo Pass if you have one, but that's not what we are interested about in this video. With the app, you'll be able to pay with your credit card or with Samsung Pay. Okay, now let's see what we can purchase with the app. T plus tickets per unit or per cheaper priced batch of 10 tickets. Navigo passes for one day, one week or one month. Let's purchase one T plus ticket. A connect account is necessary if you want to buy Navigo passes. But for just T plus tickets, it's not necessary. So let's keep that for the moment. Okay, I've selected one T plus ticket. Be sure to tick the box to accept terms and conditions. And then click on buy. Oops, I forgot to put an email which is necessary to receive the receipt. Let me put my YouTuber's address and try again. So I have to pay 2 euro 10 with my credit card. Connecting to the bank to get the authorization. And here we are, the ticket is being loaded onto my phone. Et voilà. Okay, now let's add a Navigo Summon or Weekly Pass on the smartphone. I can't skip it this time, I have to have a Connect account in order to add a Navigo Pass on my smartphone. Scroll down to no account yet and create your account. When this is done, tick the box on confirm. 
Now I just have to add a photo of me. It can be made right now or I can select a photo on my smartphone. The photo is here to be able to identify you in case of control. Okay, let's take a picture. So now I can purchase my weekly pass zones 1 to 5 for 30 euro. Once again, add your email, tick the box and click on buy. Add your credit card details. Confirm with your bank app. And you're done. The weekly pass is being loaded on your smartphone. Done. So now, as you can see, I have on my smartphone one T plus ticket and a weekly pass. By the way, the weekly pass or the monthly pass will always have priority on the tickets, so you don't risk losing the tickets. Be sure to have your smartphone switched on and pass it above the purple zone. You see? It works! And now, if you open the Ile-de-France Mobilité app again and go on Purchase, you will not only see what tickets or passes you currently have available, but also the last time you validated the transport fee, where you did it and what was the pass or ticket used for that. You can see that you can't buy another weekly ticket before this one is over, but you can buy an Orlibus or a Roissibus ticket too. This video was the last of a series of four that I devoted to public transports in the Paris region. If you liked it and found it useful and you haven't seen the others, don't hesitate to go and watch them. I give you the links at the top right of the screen. The first video presents a view of all the different Parisian transport, metro, bus, RER, train. The second is dedicated to transport tickets and Navigo Easy and Découverte cards. And the third video is particularly dedicated to the different means of transport from the different Paris airports. Do not hesitate to like this video and to subscribe if you wish to see others of the same kind.